I love turtlenecks. They just keep you all warm and cozy and you don't even have to wear a scarf. Look at this, they even have these tiny holes inside. You can put your thumbs in. And then they act as gloves, but you can still use your phone. This is brilliant. We are now officially in the month of October, and that only means two things. Winter's coming, and you need sweaters. So today we're talking about eight types of sweaters that will never go out of style. I mean, not sure about never, I can't say that v-neck sweaters will still be all the rage in year 2200, but for the most part, I'd say you're probably fine for now. Classic, timeless, versatile, you can never really go wrong with a crew neck. Wear it with a t-shirt underneath, short sleeve, long sleeve, or even a casual or a dress shirt. I mean, I know some people say that you shouldn't really wear uh, a dress shirt underneath a crew neck, that they should only be worn with v-necks. I, I would tend to disagree with that. I think a dress shirt can actually look just fine under a crew neck. To me, I, I even like the look a little better. It looks a bit more sophisticated, a little less corporate, you know, a little less traditional classic menswear to me. And I just like the look of a crew neck better. So yeah, having a good two or three solid crew necks in your wardrobe is always a good investment to me. Okay, I know that I joked a little bit earlier about the v-neck sweater, but I can't deny that it's a classic menswear piece and a staple in many people's wardrobe. Now, quick disclaimer, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of v-neck sweaters on me. That's just because I feel like they look a little bit too corporate, a little bit too traditional for me, but that's not to take anything away from it. I feel like it looks great on many other men. It's just not my biggest pick out of all types of sweaters, but it's definitely gonna be here for a long time. It's still an item that's gonna be in style for many years to come. Now, just one thing, do not go torso naked underneath. Like, don't wear nothing. You gotta, you gotta wear a dress shirt, you gotta wear a casual shirt, at least underneath. Not a t-shirt and not torso naked. Keep it, keep it with the shirt underneath. I love a good roll neck. Did you know that roll necks were initially created for knights? Yeah, like medieval knights with the swords and shields and stuff. Basically, they had roll necks to protect their skin from chafing against their armor. Because their armor was like chainmail and it could cut you and bruise you in the neck and stuff. So they had to put these roll necks underneath kind of as underwear and protection for their skin, basically. I mean, that's crazy, right? From medieval times to a daily uniform for Steve Jobs, like, this classic menswear piece has gone a long way. And I just love them. I mean, they're so practical and versatile. And with all the coverage, you don't even need to wear a scarf. Here are some of the ways that I like to wear Rolex. By the way, if you want more outfit inspiration just like this, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at Tim Desaint. Item number four, cardigans. Cardigans come in two forms. You have the thin ones and the chunky ones. The thin ones right here usually come with no collar and the chunky ones like this usually come with a shawl collar right here. Thin ones are a little more traditional. They have sort of a granddad vibe to it. I feel like they're not as easy to wear, but they can work great in the right outfit, especially in the more preppy kind of looks. The one thing I really like about thin cardigans is that you can wear them as a mid-layer, over your shirt, but under your jacket. That way when it's cold, you have that additional mid-layer for extra warmth. In the ranking of menswear items influenced by sports, sweatshirts are definitely way up there. Maybe just after sneakers. They're a great staple to have. I have one gray sweatshirt and one gray hoodie, and those two alone can be implemented in a wide range of different outfits. But since a simple sweatshirt like this can look a little boring on its own, I usually like to add an accent piece. 
maybe in the form of a bowl color or an interesting pattern on one of the other items that I'm wearing. In this picture right here, I tried making a simple look just a bit more interesting by adding a small neck scarf with a cool pattern. Sometimes, adding just one accessory can make a basic look more visually interesting. With streetwear making all the rage right now, hoodies are definitely trending, but they're also a classic and a staple to have in your wardrobe. With fashion gradually becoming more casual, you'll be able to wear your hoodies for years to come. Wear it as an outer layer if it's not too cold, or add a jacket on top. You can pretty much wear any type of jacket you want with it. Some people even rock it under a suit for some cool athleisure meets tailoring vibe. Bread on shirts like this one were initially created in the 1850s for the French Navy. The original ones were white with navy stripes on top of them, and they were created with the purpose of more easily spotting men who went overboard. Today, bread on shirts have undeniably become a menswear staple. I love wearing mine in summertime to add some cool Riviera vibes to my outfits. Also, they're an easy way to dab into patterns, because white and navy stripes are a classic. Finally, long sleeve knitted polo shirts. I absolutely love these. They're great for elevating a casual look, just because the polo shirt collar leans a little more on the elegant side of things. But you have to consider them as a sweater. Wear them on their own or with a fitted t-shirt underneath. They can look a little weird if you wear them with a jacket or a sweater on top that also has a prominent collar. I hope you enjoyed watching the video guys and I have a question for you. What's your favorite type of sweater? Which one do you find yourself wearing year round? Let me know down in the comments and if you liked the video just drop me a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of my content every week and I will see you in the next video. Peace.